So one night I'm sitting there, I'm looking at HomeDepot.com, and I see this Ryobi One Plus half inch impact kit for a hundred bucks. So you know I have the Milwaukee Fuel, which nothing competes to this, but. I saw this, so I clicked on it, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Why not, you know? Let's see what it says. And it said it came with a free tool. So I'm like, eh, you know what? Let's look. So out of all the free tools, the most expensive one was this 3 impact that you got for free with the half-inch kit, which came with a 4-amp-hour battery, and it came with the charger. Um three-year warranty, advertised up to 370 foot-pounds of torque. So I decided to order them mainly because I've been wanting a 3 8 impact and I've been wanting more lighter duty half-inch impact. Again, love the Milwaukee, but sometimes it's a little too much power. So I decided to buy this. Let's take a look at both of these guns, compare them to the Milwaukee, and um, we'll go from there. Starting off with the half inch impact. It is not a brushless version. I think that's the Ryobi HP. So this would just be the normal one plus system. 4 amp hour battery, you got your indicator on the battery, you squeeze the trigger, turns the light on, it's a variable speed trigger, you got rubber bumpers, decent grip, you know, the grip's not as good as the Milwaukee, but it's decent, rubber bumper on the back side, Friction ring on the front, just like the Milwaukee. And then looking at the 3 8 gun, you got the friction ring, same bumper, same style grip, just a much more compact head design. If you look at that, well, um, I must say they do feel decent quality. Um, the 3 8 gun. does get the brush sparks when you run it i'm sure you could see that on the camera but this i believe they advertise at 270 foot pounds of fastening torque which in my opinion i would much rather know what the breakaway torque is which i could not find online so let's torque down some bolts with these uh break out the torque wrench and See what they can actually do. Maybe we'll tighten a lug nut with the Milwaukee gun and see if we could break it free with one of these. Starting out with our half inch impact, we got a set of half inch by three and a half inch lag bolts. And uh, let's see how this thing does driving a lag bolt through this four by four here. Uh, as you can see, fully charged. Let's see how it does. so not too bad that one went in pretty good we'll switch over now using the same battery we lost the bar we lost one bar in the half inch test let's see how our 3 8 gun does and then we'll run one in with the Milwaukee just to show the, the comparison even though it's not really a fair test 
Now, before I get ridiculed in the comment section, I understand we got a chrome socket on here. I don't have a three quarter socket. That's a three eighths drive, but let's see how this guy does. As you can see, it did it. It didn't like it. We're still on three bars. Now, just for fun with the comparison, let's see how our Milwaukee Fuel does. And then we'll go out and maybe try to loosen some lug nuts. All right, so now we got our Milwaukee Fuel. This battery's only on two bars. I forgot to charge it. Harbor Freight three quarter inch impact socket. We'll put this guy on speed three. We'll go right here with it. effort than the two Ryobi guns but again a hundred dollars for two guns this was like 500 plus batteries charger everything else all in all for the price especially getting two tools a battery and a charger I understand it was a Home Depot special buy I'm pretty sure that they're still selling this on sale right now for 150 and you get the free tool, so it's about, you know, like I said, $50 more than what I spent. But for somebody starting out that needs a light-duty impact gun and doesn't want to spend Milwaukee prices, because as we know, this gun, even though this will break about anything free and drive anything as tight as you need it to be, for a beginner, sometimes a gun like this is a little dangerous. Um, You know, they're not used to the feel of how tight something should be. Where something like this, you know, even 375 foot pounds is still a lot versus like hand cranking and hand torquing something. But, you know, for if you're in the construction field and you got to drive lag bolts, you know, for deck building or framing or whatever, or even, you know, just to have something to keep in your truck or car or whatever, to change out flat tires, it's not a bad gun, especially at the price, you know. If I didn't already have this gun and I was starting out and I need it, you know, because previously to this gun, I had a old 19.2 volt brushless Sears half inch impact, which was like when electric impacts first came out. And then I also had a plug in the wall cobalt one, which was a really nice impact, but they both broke and it was time to move on and I always wanted the Milwaukee fuel impact especially after I left the mechanic industry and I didn't have air tools readily available where I could change my wheels and tires at work or do whatever this was a necessity but this I also got it was a Home Depot special buy and I think at that point in time it was like 400 bucks with I ended up getting four 5.0 batteries, don't ask me how, and the charger. And it came in the case that you see up there. But, again, for a guy starting out, um, you know, especially, like, if you're, like, a tire tech, lube tech, you know, 3.8 gun definitely will come in handy. You know, you'll use this a lot. I mean, I know I got, like, up here... I got this M12 regular quarter inch hex screw gun and I have the adapters for this and I use this 
like a three eighths and a half inch impact all the time, along with my ratchet. But, you know, sometimes it's better to have something like this that has more torque. It's built to actually break things loose where that's meant for driving deck screws and, you know, stuff like that. So for, you know, $150, because that's, like I said, what I believe this is. If you're starting out, I definitely recommend getting this Ryobi set. You can't go wrong. You know, the batteries, it's a cheap platform to get on. They're coming out with a lot of halfway decent tools and then it turns out now that uh ryobi is actually owned by the same parent company that milwaukee's owned by so you know if you look at these two guns the two half inch guns obviously they're a lot different in the aspect of quality and strength but when it comes down to like the design points they're very similar so you know again and you could get they make um the grease gun, caulk gun, they make a 90 degree angle grinder. You know, if you don't have Milwaukee money or, you know, which I tell everybody not to do, don't go spend all sorts of money on a snap-on truck. But, you know, feel free to, you know, comment on this video, see and ask uh, what tests you'd like to see me do with these, you know. Obviously, again, I know that this isn't really a fair comparison, but... You know, I figure I'd just throw it in the mix because I have it. You know, thank you. Look forward to posting another video.